What's up guys, we're back with another very special guest. You know, very special artist that I react to, Oliver Anthony, guys. This one is different, okay? So this is with the Oliver Anthony and Jordan Peterson podcast. So it's on the uh, show that Mr. Ben Shapiro always uh, promotes himself, guys, The Daily Wire. This one is a segment called Finding Hope in a Hopeless World. And I think that a lot of people nowadays, especially in 2024, are struggling to find hope in a hopeless world. As you know, I try and motivate people, I try and work hard every day to, you know, motivate other people other than myself, you know, really try and show other people how life can be good, you know, get paid for what you love to do. And I think truly think that anybody can do that, guys. You know, this one should be incredible, guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you all think. I'll give my two cents about this one. And let's go. I just felt so hopeless for the future for such a long time that like seeing people just seeing people feel something that I haven't seen in a long time means a lot. It means a lot more to me than than anything else. Than the yeah, it's really emotional, guys. Whenever I listen to his music, I, I think back on how amazing Richmond, North of Richmond was. You know, every song, I've reacted to every song on his channel, and they're all, they all blew up. They're all amazing songs because it's about motivating yourself, pushing yourself. He said that he was not homeless, but he worked so hard to get this little house and get a shed with his dogs running around. And then he said, I had no hope for years and years. Then all of a sudden it blew up on the internet. So you can blow up overnight like that and become like a sensation, guys. So never doubt people because then when you go back to try and be friend with them or try and be cool with them again, guys, I mean, that ship has sailed, guys. You know, try and believe in people, guys. I truly believe in people. Whether or not they're gonna help you in the future, don't look for anything from it, but look for motivation, you know, and look to elevate yourself then money or whatever you know what made you you said that for a long time you had felt hopeless about the future and you alluded to this song that you wrote too about sobriety what and also about identifying to some degree let's say with my friend chris what do you think what do you think it was that tempted you to feel hopeless about the future and how have you dealt with that to the degree that you have and how have you dealt with that successfully and you know, the thing is, guys, it's a great question. You know, how do you feel, how, why do you feel like hopeless? Well, the thing is, guys, you know, taken from me, man, like, you know, you leave college, maybe you leave secondary school, and the normal regular life is maybe you get a girlfriend, buy a house, whatever, settle down. But nowadays you can't afford that, guys. You can't afford mortgages, all that stuff. But other than that, not having the money aspect, I feel like people find hopeless, feel hopeless because there's no purpose in life, guys. Really, really if you look in Ireland, I'm gonna take Ireland, okay? Lived here my whole entire life, right? It's grand, do you know what I mean? It's not like it's very, you know, buzzing with, you know, anything. It's not Dubai, you know, it's not New York, it's not LA, it's not, you know, Korea, one of these massive Seoul. It's not one of these massive cities that is like really inspiring. You know, I live in the West as well, which is kind of a bit boring, right? Even if you live in Dublin, which is the capital, it's still a bit, you know, boring, so to speak. You feel hopeless because you feel like you want to do something, you want to add something to the world, you want to help people. But really, it's tough to do that when nobody's watching you, when you don't have any buzz on the internet. Maybe you don't have any following in real life. You know, you don't have any, you know, you don't have any purpose, guys. Maybe you run a jujitsu club. Maybe you go uh, on the weekends and go help people with kayaking. Maybe you go do different activities for people, skydiving, whatever. That feels like there's not much of that going on in Ireland right now. It feels like very depressing with the weather right now. It's February, the beginning. So yeah, just feels very, very hopeless atmosphere to grow up in and be around right especially when nobody's achieving anything per se but now i look to the internet and there are a lot of people achieving a lot of things guys you know so keep keep pushing man it will happen eventually so don't give up hope you know what i mean um i the hopelessness i think comes from from seeing us all like we've just we find fault in each other instead of finding common ground in each other anymore like to your point about chris and like like with you know and i and that's one of the verses in the in the popular song is that um <clears throat> it references young men committing suicide at this ridiculous rate they are today because um yeah we've and i don't know why it is i think it's i think it's almost been again through social media and sort of the parasitic way that it alters our thinking like by, by just we read everyday things that just change the change our perception of each other but we've gotten to a point where we almost 
it's easier for us to try to find differences and faults in each other instead of similarities, which there, we, we all hold much more common ground than we do difference, you know? Yeah, that's very true, guys. You know, even when you're arguing topics with friends, you know, and I had to stop hanging out with a lot of friend groups because I realized that they were very, one, not professional, you know, and when I mean that, I don't mean that in like a, I'm a better guy than that because I didn't grow up with money at all, actually. It's actually the exact opposite. Okay, grew up with nothing, right? We had a house, but there was no income, right? But when you don't grow up around these type of things, guys, you want to be around professionals, right? You want to be around people that speak properly, you know, that aren't flippant, that aren't stupid, that are working towards a purpose, guys. Maybe you're a sports player, maybe you're an entertainer, but still remain that sense of professionality, you know, among your peers, among your friends and stuff like that. And yeah, man, a lot of these other topics as well that come into play, you know, it's true, guys. You know, everything he's saying is true, man. I mean, we're all, we're all very biologically similar and we, we all have to acquire some amount of money. We, most of us have ambitions of raising a family or at least have developing friendships. Like, yep. um, you know, I'd say 90% of the people that at least exist in North America are, are very similar in almost every way, but it's and the same in Europe, the same in any country in the Middle East, you know, Asia, everyone is very similar guys. Even if you're arguing topics, you know, getting rid of friends is fine because the friends I have now, we all agree that we have more similar things than other things. I probably argue with my friends every time I see them about different topics, but they're able to now distinguish between an argument out here and a true friendship that we have together. So there's a difference, guys, you know? It's like we've somehow found the nitpick arbitrary differences that we hold and we exploit those and blow those up. And so, yeah, it feels hopeless because we are more divided today than we've ever been. Mm -hmm. Like everything's politicized. Everything is about um, one, one, one party or one person trying to hold some moral high ground over the other just for the sake of, of being able to point your finger down at them, you know? Um, and it's like, what the hell are we doing? Like we've got a, we have just an incredible opportunity to live in the place that we do. The fact that you and I can can use free speech and free thought because speech and thought are one and the same. Like if if people aren't able to have open, honest conversations with each other, they aren't able to conceptualize new ideas that takes us into a better place than whatever place it we were in previously. Like that's just that's human existence 101. And so so to see that being threatened and to see us all sort of being put into these categories in these political buckets you know we wanted to have it's a true guys you know it's really true man i feel like everything is now what side is who on what's doing this who's doing what and he sings about that in richmond north of richmond guys you know definitely people are a lot more divided you know what i mean it's very very true people are a lot more divided in a lot of different aspects so sad to see man honestly but yeah, that was a cool, cool little three-minute video. Richmond, North of Richmond is the most authentic, heartfelt song of all time. It is, guys. That's, that's the song of the year for 2023, guys. That was insane. That song just blew up. Haven't heard a better expression of thought about humanity is right now than this. Yeah, really great expression of thought there, guys. You know, people are divided and people want to take teams and different sides and different things. And it feels like every time you talk to somebody now, it's more, where do you land politically? Are you this? Are you that? Rather than like, oh, we got some kind of something that we both like together. So let me know what you all think. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.